Hi, this is Ronnie, and this is my video response to Ellen H. here on YouTube. She is having a 300 subby challenge, yeah. And one thing you could do is a layout, but you could also do a card for her. And um, this is my card, but when you do the card, you got three questions to answer. <clears throat> and so I'm going to go ahead and answer my questions. Uh, the first one's, what's your favorite animal? And my favorite animal is Newman. Yeah, Newman's just as cute as he can be. He is so well behaved and goes outside to go potty really good. He's not my dog. He is my daughter's dog. But when I go over there, he treats me like I'm his or he's mine. One or the other. He greets me at the door and he's so friendly and he stays by my side while I'm there. He just loves to have company. I think he probably does that to about everybody that comes over. But I feel special when I get there. Anyway, Newman is a dog, so I do like dogs. It's my favorite. I had a dog for 17 years, and when he passed away, I didn't get another one. So I share Newman when I go visit. My little grandson is crazy about him. Of course, my daughter is too. And one time he disappeared for like three months. Somebody stole him, and he showed back up. Needed a haircut really. Oh, he's a Yorkie. Needed a haircut really bad all matted and dirty and he was so happy to be home so he found his way home and he's just so tiny how in the world he found his way home i don't know but he showed up one morning anyway that's my favorite animal and uh second one is uh if you had the wildest craziest dream <coughs> wish dream um of course used to people say something like that i'd say bungee jumping but now I decided I'm too old for that. So I thought, what would be the next best thing? So I thought, zip lining. But then I thought, if it's going to be a wild and crazy dream, I'm going to say skydiving. Yeah, I think I'd like to do that. And uh, that brings me to the third one. If you were a superhero, what would your powers be? And that was the hard one. That's what took me so long to get this done. Because I kept thinking, I want them all. I mean, all of them are awesome. <laughs> <clears throat> and I think, man, I'd like to have them all. Then I got to thinking about the bungee jumping, zip lining, skydiving. And I thought, ha, I, since those are the things I would like to do, it's probably I would like to be able to fly. Yeah. Fly, be a superhero, and fly. So that's my third answer. And uh, you can go check out her channel and her challenge, and I'll leave a link below for that. <clears throat> and it don't end until tomorrow. I did this card last week on Sunday, and on Sunday my electric went off like three times. My internet probably 20 times. So I didn't do a process video on this, which I was going to do. But I didn't have enough charge on my camera to do it. And I really didn't have enough light. So I made Operation Write Home Cards for Gina Bess Challenge. And <clears throat> I made this card. And uh, this is the one. For her challenge so you had to have pink and green so i've got pink and green and uh i embossed the green here and this is color box paper uh cardstock and i'm not sure what the pink is there's two different shades of pink <clears throat> because one side's darker than the other side and i got these two pieces at my local crap scrapbook store when it went out of business one of them we only have one now and so I got it at a discount price, so uh, it was cheaper. But it's kind of like pearlized, so it's really pretty pearlized. And I use uh, die cuts here, and these are uh, <coughs> diamond dies. And I got these from Laura. Uh, I got this one and this one. And this is the uh, Genuine Rose, I believe it's called. Anyway, it's a rosed one, and this is uh, one of the Monarch Butterflies. And this came from Diamond Dyes too. It's the fern, but I did purchase that one. And this is a quick cuts die cut. So I did congrats because she's celebrating 300 subbies, and I'm going to mail it to her. And uh, this is just a punch that I had. And then I thought, well, you know, since the paper cardstock's pearlized, I'd use pearls. So these are some pearls from my stash. And on the inside, I just put another little fern leaf and used a punch with some uh, little butterflies, too, and put pearls on them. 
But that's my card that I'm going to mail to Ellen. And she don't have to pee me and me her address because this card knows where to go. And um, go check her channel out. You'll love Ellen. She does scrapbooking a lot. And she also does card. Do, do, does make, she does make cards. And uh, you will love her channel. You will love Ellen. And Ellen's from Belgium, my dad. And uh, anyway, I think that's all. I think I got everything covered. And so I'm going to go ahead and go so that you can go check her channel out and join in the challenge. Like I said, you've got till May 3rd tomorrow to get in on it. Bye. Thanks again, Ellen.